Welcome to Metacafe's 2010 TV Year in Review. Every year typically comes to a close in the holiday spirit of family, friends, and generosity. And 2009 seemed no different. But it turns out that 2010 didn't start as such a happy new year. As we look back over the last 12 months, there seemed to be one recurring theme. It really shouldn't have gone down like that. Scandals. Late night TV turned into a reality show of its own, going from comedy to drama, drama, drama. In this celebrity matchup, the lines were clear. You were either on Team Coco or, well, let's face it, was there really anyone on the other team? I think the best prank I ever pulled was, I told a guy, I told a guy that five years from now, I'm gonna give you my show. And then when the five years came, I gave it to him, and then I took it back almost instantly. Wow. Wow. It was hilarious. When I should have known something was up when NBC sent me that 2010 calendar that only went up to January. <laughs> and if you weren't getting screwed over, you were simply getting screwed. I have uh, had sex with women who work for me on this show. Would it be em embarrassing if it were made public? Perhaps it would. Perhaps it would. <laughs> Especially for the women. It just goes to show that not everything turns out as planned, no matter what someone says. Splits. Team Coco soon merged into Team Sandra, whose breakup unfortunately played out right after she swept award show season. To my husband, there's no um, surprise that my work got better when I met you, because I never knew what it felt like for someone to have my back. I think it's the most hated man in the world now. As has everyone else's, it seems some more memorable and less welcome than others. You don't know me and I wouldn't have done it, and if you If I don't know you, then Please stop me. interrupting me. Not all splits were romantic in nature. There were professional ones as well. The ones we could see coming, the ones you never would have predicted. You were robbed! And the one you wish you could have seen more of. Not again! Finales. Exits that won't go on to see another day are those from some of TV's most beloved series. A dollhouse and long-running franchise crumbled. Jack Bauer finally decided he needed a day off. Pull the trigger. Our favorite plastic surgeons got cut. Who's gonna drive you home and what was once lost finally found an answer to what happens in the end. An answer that left fans wondering, is that really how it's gonna end? It's so hard to say goodbye. The year of TV left some pretty big shoes to fill, especially when it comes to the talent it lost. Thank you for joining us for some of the highlights from this past year. It was a rough one, but oh, what fun it was to watch from the comfort of our own couch. A new year, a new decade, and a new opportunity will be here before you know it. And no matter what you're celebrating or what you believe, we hope you're enjoying the season. We look forward to bringing you more entertainment from TV Land in 2011. Well, looks like everything's going to be okay.